With the increasing population around the world, consumption of meat led by poultry and beef is projected to go up significantly according to the latest findings by the United Nations Food and Agricultural Organization, FAO. However, this comes with an added health risk, with 75% of all emerging diseases now originating from animal meat. With this in mind, Kenya has, in partnership with FAO, launched the second East Africa Emerging Pandemic Threats Program funded by USAID to help with early detection and management of zoonotic diseases. About 60% of all human diseases and 75% of all emerging infectious diseases, and, um, diseases are zoonotic. Most human infections with zoonoses come from livestock, including pigs, chicken, cattle, goats, sheep, and camels. What is even more scary is that these animals we live with, we share homes, and we feast on them. USAID is partnering with the FAO under this global grant to help monitor, map, and respond to both human and animal-related disease threats. Agriculture C.S. Willie Bates says the Ebola and coronaviruses have been identified as among the most prevalent and human disease-causing viruses emanating from animals that he hopes will be mitigated in the current emerging pandemic threats program. The EPT2 will build and strengthen capacity in animal health to prevent avoidable epidemics, detect threats early and respond rapidly um, and, effectively, and effectively to emerging diseases. This is crisis threatening human and animal health. Increasingly, deadly diseases as we've seen recently, including Ebola, Marburg, avian influenza, and Middle East Respiratory Syndrome, MERS, highlight the urgent need for public health, livestock, and wildlife sectors to work together to better prevent and respond to emerging disease threats. According to the CS and Emerging Pandemic Disease, affecting camels has been identified in the northern part of the country. He, however, says his ministry has so far succeeded in containing it from spreading. It is still, it's still very early. What I could say is this uh, efforts, and uh, you can see the early detection. We've already detected that there's a new disease there, but um, samples have already been taken, and uh, tests are going on at our Kabeta labs to establish what type of disease is this. But major viruses have been eradicated. I mean, has been uh, cancelled out. It, it's not anything to worry much now. So we are zeroing in to establish what is it exactly. Nicholas Ndwati, Lunchtime Business.